best girl dad any young woman could ever dream of. We will love you forever and always. Love Natalia, Gianna, Bianca, Capri, and Mommy. Natalia says she remembers nights with her father as he worked on his documentary. She says that is what got her interest in film. In Hollywood, Ted Chen, NBC4 News. This is NBC4 News at 6. Right now at 6, a mounting concern tonight for parents and their children. A possible LAUSD worker strike may lead to school closures across the district. We're breaking down what that could mean still ahead. Now we're going to take a live look. This is seen from News Chopper 4. Are we seeing it there? You see right there. This is the looming strike over thousands of people uh, at a rally in downtown L.A. this evening. Good evening, everyone. I'm Colleen Williams. And I'm Kathy Vara. NBC4's Bailey Miller joins us live as we wait to hear when that strike could begin. Bailey. Yeah, it's even more crowded here at Ground Grand Park than it was an hour ago. The last time we spoke to you, hard to believe the energy is absolutely electric out here. The stage right behind me is where speakers are taking turns sharing what they are standing out here for today. But no announcement has been made just yet. But a little bit more about what they are here for. The union has been asking for a 30% wage increase across the board. So far, no agreement. If a deal is not reached, 30,000 workers could walk out and hold the strike. This includes support staff, bus drivers, cafeteria workers, and custodians. United Teachers Los Angeles has been pushing for a 20% raise and also joining in to help the cause. We spoke with some union members here earlier. Take a listen to what they had to say. I go to the Pardon of it. Our so students in the way that they deserve. They deserve so much better. We care. We love our students deeply, which is why we do this. And it's just time that the upper people on the upper level did as well. LAUSD says they want to avoid this strike at all costs. This morning, LAUSD Superintendent Alberto Carvalho holding a press conference saying LAUSD is ready to negotiate with service employees, International Union, Local 99, adding that they do not want to set students back after they've already dealt with the impacts of the pandemic. Let's go to the table. Let's stay at the table. Whatever time, whatever place, until such time as a solution is reached. Let's choose a road less traveled for the benefit of our kids. If there is a strike, distance learning will not be an option like it was during the pandemic. LAUSD is already preparing, though, just in case, by creating learning packets ready to distribute to parents and telling parents to be ready and prepared, talking to their employers and child care providers. Now back out here live, you can see some people holding up signs here, support for special education. You can see they are cheering out here. This is what's been going on all night tonight as we do wait for an announcement to see what will happen if and when there will be a strike. Of course, we are here listening to this, and we will give you more information when we have it. Reporting live here at Grand Park, I'm Bailey Miller, NBC4 News. All right, Bailey, thank you. And, of course, we expect that strike shortly, the strike announcement. We know a lot of parents want to know when the strike could begin, when those schools could be shut down. That announcement expected just after 6.30. We will bring it to you live on our NBC Los Angeles News Channel. Look for us on Roku, Samsung TV Plus, Peacock, and Zumo Play. We're continuing to follow breaking news out of Long Beach, where police are searching for a burglary suspect. This initially started as a police pursuit that we were following. Eliana Moreno over the scene now in News Chopper 4 with the latest. Eliana? Kathy and West Covina police officers continue their search for the occupants of a blue Mercedes that led those officers on a lengthy chase all the way from West Covina down here to Long Beach. Where we're at is just south of the Los Coyotes Diagonal, just off of Jimeno Way and PCH. And the structure that I'm showing you is where that blue Mercedes was found abandoned. 
and officers are still searching for the occupants inside. We did get a little bit of information from the Long Beach police helicopter, and at this point, it sounds like the occupants are nowhere to be found. But of course, the West Covina police officers will continue their efforts to find those individuals who, again, they...